Here we are, March 18th. These guys were hatched on February 25th. These are the Cornish Cross broilers that we raised for meat. Um, so far we had one with a broken leg that we put down early, early on, and another one that had died, and that was like within a day or yeah, a couple days of receiving them. They have exploded in growth. Um, if you remember the first video with the, you know, how small they were, but now you can see them in comparison to the size of my hand there. They're huge. Getting uglier and uglier for sure. They've outgrown the, the little brooder here. We've been putting them out in the tractor during the day. Um, I clean and rehay this every night and they just completely fill it with poop and mess um, within a day. And um, so it's time for them to, oh, he's trying to jump out there. It's time for them to go outside, and that's what I'm about to do now. Got the tractor safed up um, with some new skirt boards because we ended up losing one of our baby ducks the other day. Just, uh, possum reached underneath and drug it out and ate it, so um, I'm trying to safe up the boards a little bit. See if that helps. Three week old growth from inside of an egg to the size of a softball in three weeks. That's why they're able to be harvested at eight weeks full size. And here they are in the tractor. They sure like being on grass. Got my little modified rain gutter bunk feeder for them. Five gallon water. They seem pretty happy. Half of this tractor is enclosed in the back plywood. The other half is open mesh. And then I got the uh, skirt boards screwed to the bottom of there now. Gives them a place at night to go back and feel safe. And then what we'll do is I'll add a second hanging feeder down there. And then as they get bigger, um, I'll end up running a, uh, a second tractor and splitting this herd up here, or this group up, so that we're running, um, half in this tractor and half in the other. Just a simple panel roof, hinged, I got a PVC stay, and then I've got the, uh, the little limiting strap. I had another one that the ducks are in right now that I didn't have that little limiting line holding it down. And the uh, wind caught the roof and ripped the hinges right apart. So uh, I did the old school inner tube hinge off a bicycle, some screws and some washers, and it's been working ever since.